Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. Zim. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Pow! So in today's video, I am going to talk about one thing that I talk about a lot, which is the mindset. I have a lot of people that come to me and they say, is the risk worth the reward when it comes to starting a cleaning business? All the things, especially now when it comes to employees, finding really great employees has always been a challenge and it's even more so now. There are so many places that are not available for us to clean because of the COVID. So let's take a look at where we are now. What do we need to do to move forward? So I'm gonna give you three things you wanna really focus on, three tips when it comes to what to do right now with all the changes in this industry. So first, there are always going to be places that you can clean, whether you're looking at doing residential or industrial, government, there are a lot of places to clean. Now, I hear a lot of people that say, well, a lot of the buildings that are being cleaned are being done by in-house. This may be true, but with so many employees calling out, they never want to leave if their building is going to be cleaned by someone that may or may not show up to work. But when they hire a professional cleaning company like yours, they know for a fact that they're going to have someone clean no matter what. So one of the advantages is being available, marketing, and knowing that there are always going to be places you can clean. Now let's make a list of some things that are always going to be open. Think of places when you're writing in your neighborhood, you want to jot down places right now, take pen to paper and write down the old fashioned way or on your phone or however you want to do it where there is places to be clean. You also may need to look at expanding, cleaning parking lots, doing landscaping. There's a lot of snow going on now. So there are a lot of opportunities. A lot, so there's a lot of building, people are building homes. So there are a lot of opportunities when it comes to cleaning and you may have to step out a little bit of your comfort zone and think outside the box. So that's where I go about thinking. Number two, there is always, always, always going to be a need when it comes to government, always going to be a need to clean government buildings because they're going to have to go into buildings and there's going to be military bases are going to have to have military. So don't think there's not going to be places where you can clean. Number three, there is going to be other things you can do outside of cleaning when it comes to maybe doing dry cleaning. Uh, you could do cleaning of draperies or upholstery. So there's going to be ways that you can expand when it comes to things you can do. The other area that I'd like to talk about when we talked about the cleaning, the second thing within the ways that you're going to make sure the risk outweighs the rewards 